Skeptic Khaleesi, and thanks for checking in to my Women of Science series. Today's scientist is an oft-overlooked scientific revolutionary named Cecilia Payne Gaboshkin. Now, at the age of 19, this awesome woman earned a scholarship to Cambridge, where she studied physics, botany, and chemistry. Of course, this being 1919, Cambridge didn't actually offer degrees to women, but she still managed to make some strides. Now, while at Cambridge, Ms. Payne was able to attend a lecture given by Arthur Eddington on his observation of the 1919 solar eclipse, which proved Einstein's theory of general relativity. She described this experience as, quote, a complete transformation of my world picture. Now, following her completion at Cambridge, Ms. Payne traveled to the U.S. to attend Harvard. And there, she would become the first person to receive a Ph.D. in astronomy from Radcliffe. Her thesis was described as undoubtedly the most brilliant Ph.D. thesis ever written in astronomy. It was this thesis that established that hydrogen was the predominant element making up the stars. She realized that while some common elements, such as silicon and carbon, are found in about the same quantities on Earth as in our sun spectrum, other elements, such as hydrogen and helium, are vastly more prevalent in our sun. Her work allowed for astrophysicists to read a star's surface temperature based on its spectrum. Cecilia Payne also worked to understand the structure of the Milky Way, and she studied Magellanic clouds, which contributed to the study of stellar evolution. Although Payne acted as a professor, both lecturing and conducting original research, her only official title until 1938 was Technical Assistant. And then, in 1956, she was finally named Chair of the Astronomy Department. Now, Cecilia Payne was easily one of the most important contributors to astronomy, and she helped pave the way for women in science.